Vanguard is yours. Lead on. We're hardly so deaf. Have you heard tell of an ox cart travelling the road tonight? Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't others do the same? There's been much talk on the street of this phantom ox cart that travels after sunset. But I've heard rather enough of it. Our hands are full enough as it is. Should we head there now? It would save us having to make the trip again. in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it if you like. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it, this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart traveling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? What is it? I've got more worth following me over. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my pope. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful indeed. I'll be going then. The contents of this document are beyond my ken. Methinks we ought to show it to someone better apprised of such things. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty. Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox Cart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination? Perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, 
Mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. to buy more drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? Fine. Now I'm jumping at shadows. We're under attack! Don't just stand there! Protect the cart! Drive the fiends back! Get in! How fair my fine passengers this evening. Don't know why I'm asking, you never answer, do you? Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are the they say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do with you, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Qatar. <laughs> Did that scare you, Amy? It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it anyhow. Not like I care, I know. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what I used to be. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Bolt, we're expecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. How'd you like that? <laughs> Built rather tough, eh? You going to fight back? <laughs> they may be undying, but they don't oh, seem to ha, know. They're just hey. taking it. 
dumb <laughs> they are. What a ball! <laughs> Just like hitting the That's tree it. stump. <laughs> Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. We're off. On your knees, worthless vessels. If we keep searching, I'm sure we'll find something. Wait, you're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst. To arms! have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought be used. At last! The score is settled! In the world before this, we failed to incriminate the Queen Regent, you see. Mayhap was somewhat overdone, but no matter. 